Less than nine months on from the last FIFA presidential election here, the Halland Stadion prepares to host a fresh election. This time round, there are five candidates in the running, and on the eve of the FIFA Congress, each one was busy lobbying for votes. UEFA Secretary General Gianni Infantino is one of the front runners, and he's convinced he has done enough to win. Did they, did they back you, sir? A message of football. Did they, we speak football. Did they back you? Well, you have to ask them, but I'm very confident. Where to now, Mr. Infantino? <laughs> A huge media scrum greeted the other front runner, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa of Bahrain, but he too expects to win the vote. Are you confident you have the votes you need? I think so. Well, it's another 24 hours, so I hope all is good. Are you happy with how the election's going? So far, so good. And then there are the outsiders. Prince Ali managed to win 73 votes when he stood against Set Blatter last time round. He's not expected to secure the same support this time round, but he maintains he's the right man to take FIFA forward. Well, obviously, we have to have a change across the board. Um, I will have, uh, first of all, uh, bring in an oversight uh, uh, group to, 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 to advise the president, uh, which it will be. It will be led by uh, Kofi Annan, um, and it will be composed of... Uh, of very respected figures from, from, uh, from across the world to help us along the process and, and in order to restore uh, confidence uh, to our members. Frenchman Jérôme Champagne is considered an outsider, as is South African Tokyo Sequali, although he delivered a strong message. FIFA is a broken house. Football is not broken. Our house in FIFA and I've been with FIFA for 11 years needs to repair the damage done to the brand. Severe. So I'm here as part of FIFA, of which I've been for the last 11 years, to make sure that I participate in the correction of what has gone wrong. FIFA will hope that this election can draw a line under the recent controversies and allow the organisation to move on. But that could be easier said than done. There are, after all, still two ongoing investigations into world football, and that means the potential for further revelations remains. Dan Williams, CCTV, Zurich.